Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29 of the Lico Day Challenge, and there's a weekly challenge later. So, definitely, um, definitely after this video, well, or you, even as you're watching now, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you could get all the videos. And, uh, yeah, join me on Discord if you want to chat about them. And, yeah, and, and, mm, usually I have to study bigger. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I'll do the weekly premium question after this. Anyway, today's problem is 1402, reducing dishes. Uh, okay, so the chef has collected data on the satisfaction level of his end dishes. Chef can cook any dish in one unit of time. Like time coefficient of a dish is defined by the time cooked that dish, including the previous dish, is multiplied by the satisfaction level. Okay, times of i is equal to the satisfaction of i. Return the maximum sum of like time co coefficient, say what, that the chef can obtain after dishes preparation. Okay. The dishes can be prepared in any order. I, I'm, I'm guessing this is a hard because I'm a hard, I, I'm having a hard time reading this in general, but alright. Um, okay, let's see. What, what, why can you remove dishes? How does this work? So we want to maximize, okay, right? How does this work? So, okay, so the first dish, so uh, it's such a weird thing, but first dish is, uh, gets a score of one to the ending, two and then three. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm trying to f figure out Oh, I see. <clears throat> um, I see, I see, I see. I, I was thinking, I was wondering why, um, so my, the, the, some of the initial confusion is that my intuition is just why not just choose the positive numbers? Um, you know, like why, why are we doing negative one if we can choose any number of them, right? Um, and that part wasn't super clear maybe, but, uh, uh and you can just, I guess it's actually clear. I just didn't read the last sentence. Okay, take that back. But, um, but okay. But, but I think for this one, the idea is that, um, you know, you can, um, you know, this one get, adds a negative one score, but it adds a five because it goes, you know, five here, right? So, okay. I think I understand the question. And the, I think the way that I'm going to try to do it is still going to be greedy and um, partially greedy in that, or maybe another way of phrasing it is, is uh, I'm going to try to do this in the most brute force way uh, no, that's that's too far. Not the most brute force way, but a brute force greedy combination is why I'm trying to go for. What I mean by that is just having a strategy. My strategy is that basically, you know, you have some array, um, and you want to match it to, you know, times one, times two, times three, dot dot dot. And the way that I would initially, you know, my initial intuition is probably still true, which is that we can we can sort right. Um, the sorting is going to be greedy and it makes sense in a very intuitive way. Let's ignore negative numbers for now. Let's say we have zero and positive numbers. Then it makes sense that if you sort it, the largest number go to the back so that, you know, the, it, has some, uh, 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 it has a higher multiplier, right? I think, it, hopefully I don't need to draw it out for people to understand that. Uh, I think it makes sense. The large number goes to the back and then multiply. So then what, of course, that's in the case of without any negative numbers. What can we do with the negative numbers, right? Well, we still sort by a negative number, but then now we can maybe do some sort of shift and add and then and then brute force that, right? Um, without really knowing, I mean, without like deep, uh, I mean, not not knowing, but without digging deep into it, um, <clears throat> without digging like deeper into it, uh, my intuition is that you're going to get a uh, monotonically on, um, you know, the, the derivative is going to be, so you basically you have like a parabola type thing. Maybe not necessarily parabola, but you're going to have a curve that goes up and then goes down. So basically, and you're trying to find the max in this case, which as you know, from your calculus, it means when the derivative is zero. But we're not going to use that definition. I don't know why I brought it up. Just to show off my calculus knowledge, you know, I guess, uh, to kind of use calculus when uh, it doesn't come up that much. So whenever it comes up, even briefly, I guess I can mention it. No, but basically, for example, what I'm saying here is that, for example, you have this, and then now you you sort it, right? If you sort it, you have uh, negative 9, negative 8, 
negative uh, 8, negative 1, 0, 0, 5, and I guess that's it, right? So that's basically the idea. And then the initial thing you're going to try, or I'm going to try, is putting 1 here and then 2 here, right? That's intuitive. And then the next thing that I'm going to try is, as part of, and that is almost like a, um, a base case of what's going on. Um, if, if that's all you do, it's probably a good answer. It's not the best answer, and so it'll be a wrong answer, but it's a good try, right? The thing is that, you know, we can try whether, I, I guess another way of phrasing it, now that I'm thinking about it, is saying that, okay, what happens if we have one negative number? What happens if we have two negative numbers? Dot, dot, dot. And of course, in that case, obviously, um, in a greedy way, you're going to choose the smallest negative number first. So that's basically the visualization. So then now, let's say we want to use one negative number uh, so that it matches these things. And of course, if you choose one negative number, you're going to choose the, the, the negative one because it's the smallest, right? Um, I might have... <clears throat> also, I'm going to interrupt this very quickly because I didn't give an update on it and, and I forgot because I'm just so uh, excited right now. Is that I, I finished my 72-hour fast uh, meaning that I, have, I ate nothing for 72 hours. I, all I had was water and vitamins because I'm old and needing vitamins uh, uh, just in, in case. Um, and now I feel great. So I definitely recommend everyone to kind of take a look at it. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm doing it for for um, dietary reasons because I think part of being old is that like I, I've got my hands were inflammatory uh, and I have a little bit of arthritis. Um and I don't, I didn't, I didn't think that that was the only thing, but I just feel like my diet was a little bit off in general. So I wanted to use this to kind of reset my, my, uh, my stomach and all these things. Um, and you know, with Ramadan coming, uh, you know, with the month of Ramadan, I usually try to do a fast of some length during this time every year. Um, and and yeah, so now uh, if, if I you know look very really energetic, that's why and I just ate uh, not that much, just a couple of soups and bone broths and and uh, and water and yeah, uh, not that much carbs yet, but yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, sorry for the interruption since it's in the middle of the video, but in case you're wondering, uh, maybe I'll say it again tomorrow for the people who miss it. But in any case, now you get a number from this, right? Um, let's say now you want to try. Okay. Can we do better if we had two negative numbers? And we have two negative numbers, then also in a greedy way, the optimal way to put it is this way, right? You know, you just take the smallest one that's remaining. You shift the other ones by one, and then you, tr you do your math and try again. Okay, so of course, mm, 500, okay. Well, what I was going to say is that if you do it this way, you can clearly see that this is n square. Um, you know, I mean, maybe an n log n in the beginning, and then you do an n square kind of way. But what you can actually do is actually, to, and I, I'm actually surprised that this is only 500 because I actually didn't look at the constraints because I have a, I mean, I wouldn't say, well, a linear thing, but obviously it gets dominated by n log n for the sorting, but it'll be linear afterwards, right? Um, the way that I would think about this is that this is, j well, let's just start all the way at 1, right? This is just 0, uh, this is just 5, and this is just 5 plus 0 plus 5, and then this is 5 plus 0 plus 5 plus uh, negative 1 plus 0 plus 5, right? So you can kind of see where I'm going with this, hopefully, is that whenever you move down one, you just add this suffix sum all over again. And so in that way, you could just do it in a linear time, after sorting, of course. <clears throat> so um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That's basically the idea. Um, whew. I think I, I spent a lot of time in this explaining this, so I, hopefully I'm not wrong, because greedy palms always... Uh, I never feel like I'm 100% on greedy palms unless I've done it exactly before. Um, so I guess we'll see because I spent a long time explaining something. So if that's wrong, that's just sad. But okay, so let's let's get started. Uh, let's see, satisfaction, dot sort, right? And then n is equal to length of satisfaction, right? Um, and then, I mean, I, I know that uh, my, my basis starts with... Uh, zero and positive is a good place to start and it is but now that i'm looking at it like this it almost doesn't even matter almost right because you can just start from five and then just we'll just do everything is what i mean so it, it, I, i'm not as um you know like i'm not worried oh like it's a simple right, way to write the code um and i don't have to like separate it out in a different case and these are the things that you kind of you know as i always kind of preach as you get from practice and kind of noticing it um you know you have an original strategy and then you know 
play around with it and and figure it out okay so basically now we have a total um we, we probably have like three variables we have a best this is what we return and at the worst case we return no dishes so we could just set this to zero as the sentinel value we have a total which is the current total that we're adding and I want to say that, uh, uh, kind of go back a little bit. The reason why I know that there's going to be like a, uh, uh, it's not parabolic, but, but that kind of like, uh, monotonically, it's not monotonic. What does that say? Yeah. It's not monotonically. It, uh, there's a term. It's a monotonic function, I think. Maybe I'm using the term wrong. It's been a while. Uh, but basically the same thing that you get from a ternary search. So actually, I guess if you really want to also use a ternary search on this, but, um, but it, yeah, but the idea here is that because as you go from from right to left and left, as you get to negative numbers, obviously when you add more, it's just going to uh, get smaller, right? So that's basically why, uh, and then eventually it'll even maybe take over. So so yeah. Anyway, total is the the uh, cumulative cumulative sum, uh, and then maybe like last is equal to uh last layer sum or something like this way right? so that we can just kind of do this in a good way you'll see what i mean in a second hopefully uh and then now we're counting backwards always awkward to to read in python to be honest but uh okay so then now first of all we do um, we do last plus uh eh, should we name this a or something it would be easier to write, right? And then we have total add this to the last layer, and then now best is you go max best and total. And in theory, once total is smaller than best after it, or well, I guess at any time is smaller than best, you probably could break. But if I was in a contest, I wouldn't really risk it, right? So let's just do it this way. All right, let let's um uh, let's give it a spin. Let's give it a submit, and here we go. Now we're good. Um. I mean, this this is a this is a twelve minute video, and I know I talked about my diet a little bit, but you can see that. Uh, and this is the kind of stuff that I always kind of, um, like when I'm talking about talking to someone who is maybe newer to uh, programming or not programming, just like these kind of competitive interviewee uh, programming problems is that they look at the code and they're like oh it's like five lines of code like how hard is this problem it just must be very easy but as we kind of talk about there are a lot of like different steps and logic that goes into it um and in fact like it took me a like i, I didn't really you know like it took me a little bit of time to kind of get it to 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 this code um so yeah so definitely don't be you know don't feel don't feel bad if your code is like a hundred lines i guess is what i mean because these things you know and you have different strategies and you have to prove greedy if you really want uh, uh intense about it and all this stuff so i don't know uh anyway um yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think let me know how you did let me know if your code is just as short um yeah stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye <laughs>